What's up everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School and today we're going to be talking about places where you are not allowed to carry. All right, you can't get permission or anything like that. These are places where you better not get caught with a gun on. Welcome back everybody and like I said we're going to be talking about places where you're not authorized to carry a gun with your permit okay you can't get permission or anything like that uh, again same just like the ones we talked about in a previous video where you can get permission these are places that don't even have to have the proper sign up and there is a separate video for that proper sign please feel free to go and check that out we talk about that in depth and even show some examples but getting started I think some of these are kind of self-explanatory. Police, sheriff, highway patrol office, detention center or jail, courthouse or courtroom. If there's cops or criminals in it, you can't carry, you're not gonna get permission. The last one here that I want to point out on this slide is into a polling place on election day. So let's say your church has given you permission to carry in their buildings and on their property, but it is the local polling place for your area because where we're located is a rural area, so sometimes churches get uh, deemed as polling places. So permission is paused for that day while it's a polling place. Whether you're volunteering or you're there voting, permission is paused while you are there during polling hours. You don't have to go back in and renew it or anything crazy like that. It's just paused for that day. You won't be able to carry for that day any type of governing body meeting, okay? Public school district, municipality, other special purpose district. So kind of the public school district. If you're going to a school board meeting and your school, your child's school is giving you permission, just like with the polling place, it's paused during that meeting because that is a governing body meeting. All right, if it's a governing body meeting, can't carry, can't get permission. And honestly, most of your city council, county council, things like that, they're gonna have cops out there wanting you before you go in anyway. Some school districts will even want you before a school board meeting. So can't carry, can't get permission. Daycare, preschool facility, can't carry, can't get permission. Into a place where carrying a fireman is prohibited by federal law. Now don't get caught up with your banks. Okay, now if it is a federal credit union that you bank with, yes, they are under federal law. But if it's Wells Fargo, SunTrust, Wachovia, any privately owned bank, they have to have the proper sign up. But again, wrong sign or no sign, they have the right to ask you to leave. But if it is a federal credit union, you are not allowed to carry. They don't have to have signs. And that's pretty much it, folks. I mean, this is a very short list here but you see it's your major places. Cops or criminals, it's a no-no. Polling places are a no-no. All right, this is a very, very short list and these are again places where you cannot carry and you cannot get permission and please do not get caught carrying in these places. And I always like to make sure we thank our sponsors, Core Essential, okay? Go to them, if you need a good belt, they have great belts, they just released battle, a battle belt that is absolutely phenomenal. SCGS 10 uh, to get your discount. All right, Sutter Law Firm, Lau Welding and Grading, and Get Right Personal Training. We thank you. We wouldn't be where we're at today without you. Also, our affiliate, No Other Choice. If you need holsters, uh, optics, magazines, flashlights, whatever kind of gear you might need, go over there, check them out. SCGS 5 to get yourself a discount. Okay, and always remember if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.